Donovan spins on Patterson. Beautiful move. Oh, put it down. Another spinner. A beautiful shot by Donovan to Donovan. 17 on the shot clock. Here's that spinner. Floater. Cut. And put it down. Wow. I mean, even the bench is going, holy moly. Well, what can you say about Donovan Mitchell? Bruce Foot and all, he gutted it out for a team high 28. But unlike game one, he got a lot of help in game two. Ricky Rubio, a more efficient 22 points. And in game one, Gobert and Favors combined for only 21 points, 12 rebounds. In game two, how about this? They combined for 33 points and 31 boards. It didn't really, really hurt too much, you know, throughout the game. Um, you say yes after dropping 28. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> um, yeah, and it didn't really hurt uh, too much. But you know, there was just a point, you know, where uh, just being aggressive, you know, getting to the rim, getting to the free throw line. I didn't have a free throw until the, the, the second half. So just continuing to be aggressive was just my mindset. I think the game one, I was trying to be over aggressive and um, didn't look to get my teammates involved as much as I did today. And um, I think today I did my job um, looking for my teammates, but uh, looking for my shot too when it was open, but uh, I just took the what, ga what the game gave me. In the first game, uh, the ball was going inside the net a lot, you know, especially with Paul George. Tonight, uh, uh, the guys did a way better job and uh, they missed a few more shots and uh, we had to do our job, you know, and uh, get the balls. And Derek did an excellent job. And, uh, that's all we do. Yeah, what he said. Oh. <laughs> it was all smiles after the game. The Jazz get what they wanted, a split. They head back for game three on Saturday night in Salt Lake City. In Oklahoma City, Rod Zundel, Sportsbeat.